Hello, welcome to Pyromation. My name is Mike Thaxton. I'm a product engineer here, and we will be discussing in this session the installation and operation of the Transcom Light software and the programming of a 440 transmitter. Here we have an example of a Pyromation sanitary thermal well assembly with a 440 transmitter installed. This is the 440 transmitter uh, communication cable kit uh, that can be obtained through a local rep or your distributor in your area. Please contact Pyromation to find out who that rep is. Here we have the communication cable which has a USB connection and a connector for the transmitter along with the Transcom Lite software. When installing the software from the disk, insert the disk into the computer. Once it loads up, it's going to bring up a window to play the transmitter manuals. Go to the Transcom Lite software. Decide to keep it. Then open the uh, exe file to prepare for installation. Uh, select next. Uh, accept the license agreement. You have the option to print the uh, operation and readout software uh, instructions. Um, click next. Next again. Select the complete. And then install. Click finish. And you have now installed your Pyromation software. You can find it by going to the all programs and there should be a folder labeled Pyromation with Transcom Lite software. You can also download our software underneath the technical section of our website that says software. You can also get the latest version if yours happens to be a few years old you may want to keep up with any revisions that might be out here. Um, in order to hook up to a 440 transmitter, you would want to start the software. It comes up with Auto Detect and Auto Detect PC Programmable. You want to look and see which COM ports are available. Then the trick is to close the program, insert the USB into the computer, plug in the communication cable into the transmitter by opening the access door right on the front of it. Open the software, then select the new COM port that's available, then select the transmitter type that you're working with, then hit OK. Once the software comes up, you can select between two and three wire circuits, Celsius and Fahrenheit. You can adjust the calibration range to whatever you desire. Um, it is set up for only the PT100 per the IEC 751, which is a 385 curve. Um, expanded settings, the fault condition is either uh, to the upscale or to the downscale, less than 3.6 milliamps or greater than 21. Output can be 4 to 20 milliamps or 20 to 4. Damping can be set from 0 up to 8 seconds. Uh, calibration offset can be applied if necessary. Uh, the measurement point identification is just a text box that's saved for, you know, like a calibration date or something like that. Uh, there's also in the service functions, the output simulation can be turned on. Once you turn this on, you can force a milliamp signal out of the device and you can troubleshoot anything down the line. Um, there is a choice for a password to put in. Um, once you've done making any settings, um, you go to finished, and then you want to transmit setup to unit. And once it, the box goes away, you have completed programming the Transcom Lite 440 transmitter. If you're having trouble communicating with the transmitter, and you have selected a COM port and you selected the particular transmitter that you're working with and you are having trouble with recognizing the unit 
try the other comp ports that are available. Um, worst case, you may need to reboot the computer in order for the USB drivers to take effect. Connection cannot be made with unit. Please check the interface parameters and also check that the release code entered is the correct code for this unit. The release code would be the password that could have been programmed in to lock someone out from changing the unit. The default code is the reverse of the transmitter type 044 for the 440 transmitter. This concludes the tutorial of the Transcom Lite software and the programming of a 440 transmitter. If you have any questions, please contact us here at Pyromation.